Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Luis and you guys are watching LFA TV. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. A very, very short episode today actually. Uh, I finally went to go pick up my cam seals and my, my valve cover seals. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to be doing today. Uh, maybe slap on the turbo manifold back on and uh, try to figure out some other little things. But uh, it's not going to be too, too much, too, it's not going to be too eventful of an episode. But other than that guys, let's go ahead and slap those things on. Alright guys, so I got my new valve cover gaskets. I got the little grommets for when I bolt them down. Got new cam seals and uh, yeah some silicone a little pro tip whenever you're doing the cam seals grab a little bit of grease and just grease it up a little bit by the way by the way I'm not a pro this is actually I picked this up from actual pros <laughs> you know that work on very high horsepower cars so pro tip from them but yeah you put a little bit of grease on the inside of the cam seals and a lot of times they say it helps prevent uh, any leakage or anything like that. It seals a lot better. So uh, I went ahead and put a little bit of grease on the cam seals. After that, the cam caps are on. You guys know the normal drill. Just run a little bit of, uh, I run a little bit of silicone all throughout the head where the valve cover seals are gonna pretty much be touching and just, just some extra precaution. And then always, of course, a little bit of silicone on the sharp corners right here because those are the main spots where the oil tends to leak sometimes. Those sharp little spots. But uh, yeah, let's throw these on. All right guys, so I got the valve covers pretty much bolted on. Everything's torqued down. Um, this time around, I actually did my cam gears like a semi-gloss black. I'm just gonna do a little more black into this time. I also did my vacuum box. I did that, uh, I ended up doing that like a semi-gloss black as well. So I just think it's going to look a lot cleaner. So I'm uh, just pretty much throw these on. There you go. Um, I was going to do aftermarket cam gears, but... Uh, gotta say guys the budget is running pretty pretty close so uh, I'm gonna have to hold on off I will have to hold on on the aftermarket cam gears for now so I was gonna put the cover on but look how ugly that looks and right now I was like I came and Mr. Gallardo showed up and he was like hmm what if you leave the plate off? It looks a lot meaner. So, I'm gonna leave the plate off. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it on the 7Ms yet, but if you haven't, you saw it here first. LFA TV. And there you have it. I gotta say, good thing Mr. Gallardo convinced me to leave that off because I gotta say it looks a lot nicer. And then we're going to have the thermo the alternator relocated to the bottom. Which drift motion is kind of leaving me behind right now, but it's alright. It'll get here eventually. And I still got to figure out what the heck's going to happen with the return line for the turbo. And uh, yeah, I got to get my Marmon flange welded onto the downpipe. A few other stuff, guys. And if you guys remember, I am going to keep my stock fuel lines. Because those are proven by other a local guy. He made 900, almost 900 on stock lines with the 85. So I'm going to be doing that instead. So I went ahead and took off the return line. And look how freaking, look how toasty this thing was. That's no bueno. I gotta try to figure out a better way to route this because uh, that was, those are signs that it was constantly on the manifold, so it's probably why I failed. So guys, if you guys remember, I was having a, a leak on my return line, and after further inspection, we came to we came across another gruesome 
discovery, check this out. This is my freaking, this is my return line for the turbo. This thing was toasted. This thing was soaked in oil. So we were very fortunate that uh, this thing actually didn't catch on fire because it was, this thing was always sitting on top of the manifold. If you guys can see right here, it was pretty much toasted and this is just from it sitting right on the manifold. So um, I kind of do not want to run through that issue again. So we're going to be trying to figure out a better way to route that line. All right, so right now I kind of threw on the turbo manifold on just for mock-up. Um, the oil return or the dipstick is right there. And the return line is pretty much right, right there. So uh, it's a tight fit throughout all that. Um, I'm gonna try to find a way to route that. So I went to put the manifold on, the turbo, and goodness gracious, doesn't that look good? Whew, boys, I'm excited. I cannot wait, but we're, we're getting the, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the drain. All right guys, so we made a small amount of progress today. Not too much, but uh, some significant progress. We could say that we're a lot closer, at least, right? So if you guys could tell, I left off the front timing cover or the back plate, whatever. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Does it look a lot cleaner? Does it look better? In my opinion, it looks a lot better. Um, I know some of you purists might be like, oh, I don't know, man. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how how it how it uh, holds up. I don't think it's gonna affect anything, but in my opinion, it looks a lot cleaner. It looks meaner. And um, yeah, I got the turbo just kind of just barely mounted on there right now um, but yeah guys I want to say that's pretty much it for this video um, stay tuned for a lot more to come but yeah guys I'm gonna say that's pretty much it for this video took care of some stuff and um, a lot closer so I still got a few more other little things to take care of as far as like the engine goes and then I could finally start on wiring